everyone. This is for the wireless HD video transmission system from Swift. It is WHDI wireless technology, working at 5G, can transmit uncompressed 1080p HD video without latency. So it could be widely used at direct monitoring, on many system, sports games, or TV live productions. Here are the Swift third generation wireless products, including a bigger one and a smaller one, just like iPhone 6, right? They are specially designed for big and small cameras, while the two sizes have totally the same wireless functions. That's really better than iPhone 6. Well, how about wireless transmission performance? Let's go outside and I'll show you. Now in my hand is the bigger size product, model number S4904. And this is a popular Sony camera Sony PMW S55. The wireless transmitter offers V-mount or good mount, easy to be installed on camera. This transmitter is V-mount plates. Let's install on 55. Then attach a V-mount battery onto the transmitter. So the battery can power both transmitter and the camera. The wireless system supports up to 3G SDI, that's 1080p 50 or 60. Also supports a Sony camera 24 PSF. Besides, the same format's HDMI is also supported. That means you can use the wireless on almost all kind of cameras. During the wireless transmission, we suggest open the antennas at different angles to get a stable quality and transmit farther. Now let's see the wireless receiver. The receiver has five antennas. We also need to open the five antennas at different angles. In order to avoid interruptions, we suggest that the receiver should be set as high as possible. Today I'll show you the long distance transmission. So we use this tripod to set the receiver high. Then we use a battery DC output cable to power the receiver. The receiver also has V-mount or good mount place and you can directly attach a battery. Now we connect SDI output from the receiver to the monitor. The receiver has both SDI and HDMI output. No matter the transmitter inputs SDI or HDMI, the receiver can output SDI and HDMI simultaneously, so that we can use many kinds of monitors. Now the transmitter and the receiver have been set up, and next is frequency match. As we talked, the wireless system is working at 5GHz, ranged 5.1 to 5.9 and the user can set a frequency by themselves. The wireless can be built up once the transmitter and receiver are set to the same frequency. We have already set the same frequency at factory for the one-to-one -one package, so let's check. We can see the transmitter was dialed to zero as default, and the receiver was zero too. Now we can switch on the camera. Turn on the transmitter and switch on the camera. Then we can see the on-camera monitor has displayed. The transmitter has two indicators, the power is on and the video indicates the camera SDI input has been recognized. Now we power on the receiver. We can see the power indicates has light up. And after about 5 seconds, the video indicator is turned on, that means the wireless video has been received. And we can see the RSSI indicated the signal strength. Okay, this is a wireless received SDI video, HD, not compressed, including two-channel embedded audio. Comparing to the real-time code board, the wireless received video has no latency at all. The cameraman used microwave wireless video may care about the wireless output power. The average output power for microwave is around 700 mW. That's too much and will probably do harm to people's health. But this WHDI wireless system, the wireless output power is only 63 mW, far less than the bottom safety line, 100 mW. So it's totally safe. Okay, now let's see. If we use handheld HDV camcorder or HDSLR, they don't have the V-mount or good mount place. I think it's better to use this smaller transmitter, model number S4914. Comparing to the S4904 we introduced just now, this one is just smaller in size. All the wireless features and input-output interfaces are the totally same. And the smaller one is better for HDV camcorders, especially the handheld stabilizer on many the system. Now we install the smaller transmitter onto this HDV camcorder. 
The product package provided a bracket. Can be installed on camera by screw or coat shoe. First, we screw the bracket into the bottom of the transmitter. And then fix them onto camera by coat shoe. Now we need to power the transmitter. The transmitter supports 6.5 to 17 volt input and can be mounted DV battery directly. This is a commonly used Sony L series DV plate, can use Sony NPF DV battery to power. We also supply all kind of Sony, Panasonic, JVC and Canon DV battery plates for option. The more convenient is, Sweet also produces DV batteries with DC socket. And using a DC cable, the DV battery can power the transmitter and camera simultaneously. Then we connect the camera SDI out to the transmitter SDI in. Open the antennas too. Okay, now the small transmitter is set. The two transmitters have different sizes, but they have the same receivers. And if we use two or more wireless channels in one location, we need to set different frequencies for them, otherwise they will be interfered. Just now we have seen the 4904 was set to zero, so we'll change a different one for this. The product package provides a small flat driver, and we can use it to change the frequency point. For example, we dial the frequency point to 5, receiver to 5 as well. So the second wireless system is built at another frequency point. The wireless system also supports multicast mode, means one transmitter to multi receivers. If you set several receivers at the same frequency as one transmitter, the receivers can get one image simultaneously. Now let's turn on the HDV camera wireless channel. We can see the power indicator has light up, and the SDR video input is recognized. And we switch on the receiver. Power is on. About 5 seconds, the video lights up too, means the video has been received. The two wireless channels are working together, with no interference to each other at all. To ensure the reliable wireless transmission in one location, we suggest to use 3 to 4 wireless channels at most, and if allowed, please keep the receivers at 2 meters distance to each other, so that it can avoid interference effectively. Another point, we know in the film set, directors will use interphone to command the cameraman. The interphone usually works at 400 mega frequency range, while our wireless system works at 5G. As long as you use qualified interphones, they will not interfere our wireless transmission, please don't worry. Now I think you are eager to see in the real transmission distance, right? I will take this small transmitter and show you. In different locations, the wireless distance may be different. In outdoor, line of sight, and away from water, we tested the longest wireless distance is up to 800 meters, so that is quite enough for the direct monitoring on many system sports live productions. Alright, how do you think this wireless transmission system now? I will give you a summary. WHDI technology. 5G frequency, up to 1080p non-compressed transmission, SDI and HDMI dual outputs, 
max distance around 700 meters, less than 1 millisecond latency, 63 milliwatt safe power. Two sizes of transmitters for shoulder cameras or HDV cameras, V-mount code mount DV plays with DC in socket, and all metal housing strong and durable. The product standard package includes cold shoe and screw fix bracket, a clamp for field installation, frequency dial driver, D-type DC cable, AC-DC adapter, and a carrying case. Okay, that's all for today. More information, please go to www.sweet.cc or email us contact at sweet.cc. See you next time. Bye-bye.